I'm Nigel Warrell with Florida Leisure and today I've got the world's number one female goalkeeper with me, Hope Solo. How does it feel when I introduce you as the world's number one goalkeeper <laughs> first of all? Well, there, there's a lot of pressure riding on my shoulders year in and year out, but it's something that uh, I still want to retire with, so i got a lot of work to be yeah, done. Yeah, and you, you've dealt with that pretty well so far. I, I like pressure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I want to talk first of all about the Olympics last year and, and what happened last year to you and, and the great feelings in your book you talk about you know you've never really had happy endings and it's a great way to you know to bring people into the book but that was a pretty happy ending yeah not bad but you know what it hasn't ended yet I uh, I have a lot more in me and that's what's exciting you know uh, we won the Olympics in 2012 we hosted the gold medal um, but that's not where it ends. I still have a World Cup, the elusive World Cup sure. trophy to go after. And, and unfinished business there. Unfinished business, and that's my next goal in the next three years, is to first qualify sure. for the World Cup and then to bring home the World Cup trophy, which has been over a decade since we've held that. Yeah, yeah. 1999, wasn't it? 1999. Yeah, exactly. Okay, moving on a little bit. Um, your book, obviously, it's been a little bit com controversial at times, but I don't get that from it. I mean, I think you've just been you in that. Um, I think there's a bigger message for kids growing up, uh, the message of don't quit no matter what happens to you in life um, pretty much that's what's happened to you just never quit yeah you know it's funny when you said it's a bit controversial because I wanted to ask you right back well what was controversial about it because it is my life it's my sure. story and it's the experiences that I've been through and everybody walks a different path everybody has a different journey throughout life and ultimately at the end of it you want to you want to push through you want to overcome your obstacles your challenges and everybody is faced with different challenges these were my challenges that I've been faced sure. with and I don't expect them to end because I'm still I'm still young I'm 31 years old and I have a, a long life ahead of me hopefully so for me, it's it's uh, it's taking what is given to you, and it's deciding how you want to live your life. And for me, life hasn't been easy, but I still want to maintain happiness. I still want to maintain sure. courage. I still want to be the best that I can be. And I think that's what people can get from the book if they want to get out of that. Otherwise, they can just say, "Oh, it's controversial." But for me, well, it's about yeah. I think it's controversial because um, yeah, the the media likes to make it that way. They like to take the <laughs> spicy bits out of it and and spice it up that way. But for me, when you read the overall book and you take the book in big context. You know, it is that message you're never giving up and always doing your best, and, and then things will turn your way. Well, I really do appreciate that. Um, and you are the media too, but there, there's some good, of you out, <laughs> good ones of you out there. Well, I am, but yeah. <laughs> okay, let's turn to tomorrow's game against Scotland. Um, what are your hopes? The last time I was here, certainly the, the US men's team beat Scotland 5 1, so no doubt you're hoping to repeat something of that. <laughs> well, you got to keep in mind, this is a different year for us, different coach. This is Tom's first game. We have 29 players in camp, it's one of the biggest pool of players that we've had in years and years since I can remember and you know it's not a World Cup qualifying year it's not an Olympic qualifying year it's not a World Cup or Olympic year so here we are we're gonna test new players we're gonna see new players and that's exciting for the fans it's sure. it's time to kind of turn things around a little bit and get some of the younger blood up in here and, and create a new team going forward because we're all old here now, you know. <laughs> oh, so you're not that old. To, Try me. I'm old. It's time to <laughs> change things up a little bit to make sure we have a winning team on the field in 2015. Sure. sure. Okay. Um, new manager. Let me let me cut you off real quick. But okay. keep in mind with that, when we we're coming in with a new coach, we don't know our system. We don't know the starting lineup. We're going to bring in new young younger players, players who maybe don't even have a cap yet. Keep in mind. We're not we we're not sure how that's going to gel on the field yet, sure. so we probably won't get the five to one. <laughs> yeah, I mean you don't play every week, so that's of that's course, difficult. So you know building that team ethos there, but they're all good players anyway. So oh, well, usually good players absolutely. come through. So. Yes. Okay, new coach. What have you experienced so far? New systems, yeah. new tactics, perhaps. Yeah, you know, we had one tactical meeting last night, and we still don't know our formation. So I think uh, <laughs> okay. tonight, the night before the game, we're going to learn the starting lineup. We're going to learn okay. the formation. Um, I've heard in the past he likes to play 4-3-3, but yeah. with the players that we have, we're, uh, we're pretty set on a 4-4-2. So I think it's going to be important for us to learn how to adapt and make changes on the field and learn new styles of play because we're, we're your typical American team that likes to play 4-4-2. And, you know, we like Abby and Alex up top, but now we need other players to attack. We need to pinch in more in the midfield, and, and it's a style that perhaps we've never played before. So it'll be interesting. Um, I think it's going to again take some time before we, uh, you know, we're the best at it. But sure. I think we're open to change. Okay, well, open to change is how you need to keep your life. <laughs> um, 
Uh, just a personal question. You were obviously in the UK with the Olympics and you played on a lot of the famous grounds. Which was actually the, the, the best ground or the most, or the one you enjoyed the most? I loved Old Trafford, of course. It wasn't my best game at Old Trafford. I wish I could go back and repeat the game, but right. um, it was... You're not a Man U fan. <laughs> no, no, I'm a Manchester City fan. But <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's going to walk away now. But well, I'm a Wolves fan, so... <laughs> but it was, a, it was a very intimate environment. Just a, you know, there's so much rich history in that stadium, sure. but I just enjoyed it. It just seemed, you know, you play at Wembley and it's it's huge. It's like playing in a football stadium, but yeah. um, like here, it's a football stadium. We all love our intimate soccer environments. Sure. And favorite player? Um, well, I feel so like everybody else when you say Messi, but he is by far and then the best player in the Why world. Why do all the women's teams say Messi? I'm sorry, who's your favorite player? Mine? Um, well, I go back longer than you, so I'm thinking oh, of the, thinking the Pelés and the Beckenbauers and the Croyts. I love Beckenbauer and Croyts, of course, but I thought we were talking about present. Who's your present <laughs> favourite player? Yeah, well, overall favourite player. It doesn't really matter. I mean, favourite yeah. player is Messi, but a lot of the women like Messi. Is that because of the silky skills? I mean, you being a goalkeeper, I would have thought he'd be the last person because he's forever putting the ball in the net and your yeah, job is yeah. to keep it out. Of course. Well, you want to say favourite goalkeeper. We can do that. Yeah, yeah, I okay. love Van and I love Casillas. Okay, all right. Yeah. Casillas, and very, okay. very different goalkeepers as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, the, the job is to keep the ball out the net no matter how you do it. I grew up in an era of Peter Shilton, Gordon Banks oh, from the England yeah, team, so you know. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm taking your time, you've got to get back out on the field for training. Um, I, I do know. thank you. I'm healing a couple of injuries, so you're not going to see me on the field today or tomorrow. Okay, all right. So, well, anyway, that's going to be a disappointment for anybody. Just before we end, this is the book that you've all got to go out there and buy. Is there anything else you'd like to say about it? You pour your heart and soul into this? My heart and soul is into a memoir of hope. Okay, go out there and get the book.